going to be measuring the subcooling because this system is equipped with a thermostatic expansion valve as the metering device. And this is a single stage heat pump running in air conditioning mode. The system's been running for about 15 minutes and we've got proper airflow. And so we measure a liquid pressure of 318.3 PSI. We convert that to a saturated temperature of 104 degrees. And so you can see on this PT chart, we're using that right-hand column because that's the liquid or the bubble point column. So that's the saturated pressure converted to temperature. So it's going to tell you the saturated temperature in the middle of that outdoor coil. And so we need that. And we also need to know the line temperature on the liquid line. And so in this case, we have a liquid line temperature of 96 degrees. So we take the saturated temperature in the middle of the outdoor coil, which is 104, minus the liquid line temperature, and we're left with 8 degrees of actual subcooling. We need to compare that to the target subcooling on the rating plate. So on that rating plate, you might have one or you might have multiple different target subcoins depending on the outdoor temperature. So you just want to be aware of that. It might not just be one, but in this instance, there is just one. And so we're looking at 12 degrees as a target. So we are actually four degrees low on subcoin. If our target's 12 and our actual subcoin is eight, we're just a little bit low on refrigerant. So remember that we want to get about three degrees uh, within what the target subcoin is. So anywhere from say uh, nine degrees to 15 degrees of subcoin, obviously you want to get as close as possible. That's going to give you an accurate refrigerant charge. And to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge of A2Ls, R32, R454B, as well as R429 and R22, make sure to check out our new second edition, Refrigerant Charting and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book, available over at Amazon and at acservicetech.com.